Welcome back everyone and welcome to World of Worship and uh, uh, my channel. Good to talk to you once again and today guys uh, I've been thinking to share with you one of the probably the best uh, gift from Wargaming ever actually and uh, yeah this uh, at, uh, at uh, uh, 10th it was kind of easy I was just playing the game and voila I did receive the Shun Horse 43 uh, something else and it's kind of uh, weird I just opened those free Santa big gift containers and you know what I will talk about something that I was kind of surprised uh, once again guys it was one of those uh, Santa or not the big uh, big uh, containers it was actually smaller like I, I I believe it was one of those I'm not 100% or probably was BS it was probably a big Santa container that I received and you know what I did receive I did receive this free premium tier 7 uh, battleship and I do like it it's literally a Fuso at tier seven which is not great but not bad either it is pretty tanking and one of the gimmick i very much like to say about this ship it is has uh, this um, um main battery reload booster which is nice and this is my build and of course i do have a yamamoto why not uh, once again um I believe it's a strong ship but not probably the best tier 7 uh, ship but it's not a bad I mean you do have firepower and kind of a tankiness however it takes the cakes in tier 7 spanking new uh, premium um, Shan Horse 43 the main difference between this one it's literally a, a free shan horse which is not bad you pay with slower uh, rate of fire versus regular shan horse and also slightly less range on the other hand your secondary reload uh, much much faster than a regular uh, shan horse and your torpedo also reload like 20 seconds or close to 20 seconds uh, faster so you have uh, faster torpedoes and also probably the uh, there are two dif different you see here reload time of your secondary 2.7 and if we are going to shun horse let's talk about that yes 3.2 you see you see the difference uh, of those uh, 105 millimeters and over here seven point one of the big 150 millimeter secondary armament uh, 7.1 versus Shan horse 43 uh, oh yeah that it's a huge damn different 5.6 with my build uh, so overall I went, went for all my secondary because why the hell not I do have pretty nice uh, 9.5 kilometers in the secondary range and yeah I, I I believe guys one of the best tier 7 so-called free everyone can get this ship for free and it's it's a lot of fun it's especially if you want to play guy in asymmetric battle or operation it is one of the best uh ships to do you do tons of uh, damage guys and it's even more overpower even more broken even more strong if you do have this gunter lucian gunter lucian is actually a must have for all german if you have mains if you have uh this is my um uh, Schlieffen captain guys and I believe it's a great trainer uh, what do I have I do have a 21 points captain uh, yeah it's a elite commander and what's what's really the gimmick about this captain it's of course if you are new to this game it's it's uh, you know you hit with your main armament 140 times and voila your reload it's absolutely broken minus 7.5 uh, percent and also secondary and this you can achieve each and every battle uh, 100 secondary hits and then voila minus 15 percent but overall guys I very much like to say this is by far one of the best 
so-called giveaway from Wargaming. I received this one for free and you don't have to pay any gold or anything to get this ship. Just playing the game and at uh, stage 10 you will receive this ship for free. You may argue that it's a small difference between uh, this one and regular Tech 3 ship. For the Tech 3 ship Sean Horse, I did pay real money with my credit cards. This one I just received it for free. But uh, overall I very much like to say that because of this faster reload and brawling, I believe that guys and asymmetric battles the Sean Horse 43 is better than a regular Sean Horse. I repeat this free premium badass cap uh, captain yes with his <laughs> ship it's whoopy as all hell and i cannot understand why the hell you take a cruise and, and trying to get uh, some impact in asymmetric battle you'll just blow up you're just gonna get dead because they are focus you so freaking hard you're never gonna survive however in a sharon horse it's different story you are want to uh, spear and you know uh, nuke your enemy left and right secondary left secondary right torpedo right torpedo left and so on i could definitely show, uh, play a battle with you guys so i can show but guys the main point you get this premium ship it's because to level up this badass captain because the tr tr truth is guys uh, uh, this is a strong ship but with this captain it's twice as strong and probably i have one question for you and if you are new to this uh, game zera what is the best ship in the whole game i have actually a question for you it's a free ship you can get it it's a, a regular touch tree ship i am really mean that the most fun and broken and strong uh, battleship you can get and you know when i playing uh, this game mode asymmetric battery don't ever think that i thinking twice to take my i don't know montana or uh, something else no no you press tn and of course i have the schliefe it's a must have if you do not have this ship i highly recommend you to get it it's a free ship and it's absolutely hilarious strong and overpowered in this uh, game mode if you are playing let's say 10 battles in this one over 10 probably eight of them you will be the top dog you are the one who's doing the most damage most uh, secondary hits the most uh, damage overall you will melt bots you will melt destroy everything and what i do like about the ship it's actually a lot of stuff there very few uh, battleship have. of course you you know uh, you have the best se them secondary in the entire game uh, probably there are some I don't know tier uh, 10 uh, or tier 11 uh, super ships with uh, as as good uh, what do you call it uh, secondary at this one at 12.5 kilometers as soon as you're detected I mean serious 4.9 second 2.2 second and this is without uh, captain uh, this captain um, uh, achieving this uh, 200 hits you know you, you will hit each and every time and then this two point <laughs> what is uh, this uh, hilarious those uh, small guns which will pen 26 millimeters don't forget 2.2 seconds i don't know it's one point something <laughs> it's just ridiculous <laughs> any random battle guy is if you are someone who's trying to uh, brawl versus this thing uh, don't do it because you might get torp or secondary or the guns are pretty pretty nasty as well i do like the uh, the apr really good and of course the hr garbage do not use he only if you absolutely must have otherwise you will just destroy this ship so um yeah why pay real money when you have so much fun in this free ship i really really mean that guys i cannot come up with one more fun uh, battleship to grind 2024 if you do not have this one um and sure you can go for curve first line or you can go for whatever the tier 10 it is uh, i do like this ship not because it has crazy strong armor because it is almost like a glass cannon however 
However, you don't want to brawl, even if you are a Yamato or whatever you are, you don't want quite brawl versus this thing. It has torpedo and if uh, the torpedo will miss, uh, probably the secondary won't and the main armament. And something else is, and it's extremely important about this line versus anything else. And there it's about the equipment. You do have the torpedo and you have the best damn hydro in this entire game with secondary with all that what i'm trying to, I, this is my build guys uh, full secondary and of course this is kind of important and also some flags do not, for a love of god buy all those flags uh, for secondary it's a must have and probably also the speed also must have because i believe if you put putting this uh, i just to let you know i don't know this has cost me a lot but i do have a lot of credits uh what is the damn speed and it's kind of important what i do like this ship uh with speed flag what do i reach 34 uh, 5.8 knots and uh, with some other perks probably you'll reach as much as 37 knots um, if you're not detected you know there is a perk that you can speed up your speed so you know those days that uh, only Yamato would do the big damage probably guys serious if you are um, uh, this uh, game mode the meta staying from 24 kilometers yes uh, play your Yamato or even Slava it's not bad or maybe the Republic uh, with sque squeegee uh, armor however this thing reloads and um, yeah uh, this passive game mode yeah, this is per perfect one because what do we have 26.1 uh, kilometers in range yeah of course the dispersion is all over the place and a huge big damn target sure it's pretty fast not as fast as Borgon probably Borgon it's uh, together with um, um, with some other ship like Georgia one of the fastest um, uh, battleship in the entire game this thing says this reached 32 knots but this is without speed boost so I believe that this ship together with Georgia with speed books, uh, boost um, it's one heck of a uh, shall I say speedy demons yeah makes them a little bit more fun however they are not a brawler they are squishy and and so on um, something else I very much to, to pay attention when I playing to uh, a semi battle remember of some very strange reason it's much much harder to do well in tier 7 tier 6 and tier 8 uh, because some tier 8 uh, captain they decide to take your their very squishy uh, cruisers and they get blow up and you end up you alone versus I don't know five six bots and yeah I had so many games that I was freaking alone uh, versus all the bots and my team just uh, died like uh, flies. I don't know how to say it better. But guys, seriously, there is a ship that I very much like to talk. Uh, I know it's a premium ship. Um, let's talk about it, which I do. It's my favorite ship in the entire game beside the Schlieffen. Schlieffen number one. Uh, this one will cost a little bit money but on the other hand I got lucky I got really dumb lucky and received this ship by just opening a super container uh, this is a super container I, I, I'm, I'm honest with you guys I never purchase uh, with I you know sometimes just open the containers and voila uh, one time in a, I don't know in a year or two <laughs> you receive a super container in that super container this is my biggest gift I ever received from war gaming and that is as USS Massachusetts I really love this ship at tier 8 there isn't anything like this one and especially in this game mode I'm serious guys if I press right now battle and which I'm gonna do and I'll talk a little bit more about this ship I'll definitely show you how strong and how potent it is uh, and if you do not uh, let's say you want to spend any time in this uh, game sure you can just play your North Carolina it will perform in some better I'm talking about accuracy even better than um, USS Massachusetts but the biggest difference between Massachusetts and North Carolina it's not just a damn secondary I mean look at this secondary uh, da, 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 secondary they have 21 millimeter span at 11.3 11.3 secondary range sure this is 
you probably need the IFHE or um, you will not pen you just put a lot of fires but it's still good to have it but makes this kind of a uh, much stronger than let's say North Carolina guys it's all about this freaking hill you have a improved uh, hill and much faster cooldown so that it makes this ship kind of a uh, strong and of course I do have my secondary build but is it a fun ship yes it is because unlike the German battleship this thing has decent AA or more than decent AA I can up, up, uh, come up with a tier 8 uh, battleship to defend yourself and you know the turning radius it's it's fantastic I will definitely show you more gameplay in this which I really don't carry the entire game uh, my team in this uh, uh, special um, battle uh, what do you call it? Asymmetric battle? You always top on on the top uh, team. Uh, I mean, in in ten games, probably eight of them I'm top dog in this in this uh, ship. If I play in this ship, you know. So let me know in the comment below which are your favorite tier eight, nine, and ten uh, battleships. Uh, yeah, of course, a tier nine, very simple, guys. I do like my uh, USS Georgia. It's a very fun, very maneuverable, and very fast, and hits really hard. Even though it only has. Uh, what do you call it only uh, uh, only six guns I do honestly believe it's one of the strongest tier 9 battleship in the entire game it's because also has the fastest and overmatch I know it's kind of weird but it is what it is and same story over here guys you have USS Massachusetts heal and uh, cooldown and of course the secondary it's absolutely fantastic and um, yeah it's it's fun ship it's really darn fun and yeah probably not as much as uh, the tier 9 uh, regular tech 3 uh, battleships uh, with the, uh, you cannot be citadel but it's very hard to get citadel in this especially if you angle so the armor it's fantastic the speed it's absolutely fantastic so this combination good secondary speed and very punchy gun I mean they are slow this this is not a uh, 20 kilometers plus uh, sniping in the uh, back at uh, at the uh, range this is more like in your face type of thing you know it is a lot of fun probably in my honest opinion one of the strongest tier 9 uh, battleship in the entire game that's that's honestly wh what I think and of course before I end this video I'll ch talk about uh, some tier 10 cruiser there is a cruiser which in this asymmetric battle I repeat in this game mode it's OPS all hell and probably the strongest in the entire game I cannot up, come up with why you play something else and then of course the Napoli the Napoli has been buffed guys sure you don't have the best guns and probably the biggest downside with this ship you don't have like hydro or the only thing you can spot other ships is when you um, are using I mean you don't have quite tools you know you have smoke you have heal and you have this fight must have uh, secondary and all that he and uh, probably also this uh, flag increase your consumable and smoke it is by far I repeat by far one of the strongest tier 10 cruiser in this game mode I always 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 even if I'm playing in uh, in, in in a team like Schlieffen's I come me and Schlieffen are always on the top it is so freaking strong it's hard to kill this ship and especially with new buff and what what else guys this is a cruiser with the armor of freaking uh, I don't know what to say battleship close to battleship where, where do I find the armor? Uh, anyhow. Armor. Over there. Yeah. 40, 40, 60, 60, 40. So if you probably angle, you know, don't show your broadside kit, you can be nuked even by bots. However, if you angled, if you angle, guys, this is very, very tough ship to kill. And many many believe that, that you are a battleship and you brought so then you know some humans and even bots will definitely blow you up but if you're angle guys yeah good luck to killing this thing I'm just saying 
uh, you need I don't know what you need but you need something to just uh, blap this one and uh, this torpedo and uh, good maneuverly makes my favorite tier 10 cruiser and I do have a lot of cruisers guys but serious not even playing a Petropavlovs which is probably one of the most overpowered cruiser uh, in for a random battle random battle is probably this is even stronger than than uh, uh, let's say uh, uh, Napoli because you have a uh, freaking a lot of tools you know like uh, yeah crazy strong AP performance uh, the best AP pen in this game and also uh, uh, AA strong AA and also radar so you have much much more tools to deal with but don't ever show your broadside you will be deleted instantly but it's a slug you know it's like comparing a very maneuverable uh, cruiser versus kind of a non uh, uh, maneuver but uh, you you're probably even more tankier than uh, uh, Napoli however however the biggest downside of this ship is that Hindenburg can uh, to get to this quarter pen will definitely uh, do huge dam damage to uh, Petropavlox it's because of uh, this uh, what kind of pen you talking about 51 millimeters pen yeah so this will pen everywhere uh, even the Petropavlos will be, you know, will be eaten alive by a Hindenburg, and the Hindenburg also uh, have a great rate of fire. Uh, however, guys, however, I still honestly believe that Hindenburg does not quite have the tools or the armor to perform as well as, let's say, Petropavlos. So there you have got my one of my favorite uh, ships to play. Um, and of course I also unlock just for a few uh, uh, days ago I unlocked this ship which is uh, <laughs> it's a fun you can do all right ish in this game mode but probably in random battle it's even more strong uh, because um, because guys uh, this thing is a torpedo freaking monster you don't want to push into this thing you might be deleted and the torpedo are absolutely broken uh, only three or four torpedo hits will delete you even if you're full HP battleship so yeah it's a lot of fun it's a lot of dark bug but you once again guys you do not have a lot of tools to deal with let's say destroyers or other cruisers uh, you're just a smoker pretty damn good smoker uh, and torpedo uh, maniac I mean uh, sure who needs the hell this Kitakame with, with a lot of torpedoes and stuff like that which you can all almost put I don't know 16 torps at the same time with this behemoth and the torpedoes are fantastic that's the main selling point about this ship is squeegee but the torpedo are fantastic so yes if you are liking uh, uh, it's kind of a sluggish and but hey 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 guys serious the AA you can just forget nuke this thing and uh, probably this is the only cruiser I can come up with uh, who can definitely deploy a tier 8 uh, carrier I repeat this is absolutely a monster in AA and it's made to kill and shoot down all your plane especially if you're tier 8 sure versus a uh, super carrier like tier 8 they will just laugh at you and still gonna drop you and kill you but it is tier 11 after all so yeah, guys let me know in the comment below which which grind uh, which which uh, you know nation are you going for 2024 have a good one guys take care and catch you in the next one bye